In order to analyze a signal, it has to be represented first, right? And this representation in communication systems is of two types. The first one is the frequency domain representation, and the second one is time domain representation. Now consider two signals with 1 kHz and 2 kHz frequencies. Both of them are represented in time and frequency domain. Time domain analysis gives the signal behavior over a certain time period, right? And in the frequency domain, the signal is analyzed as a mathematical function with respect to the frequency. Frequency domain representation is needed where the signal processing, such as filtering, amplifying, and mixing are done. For instance, if a signal such as the following is considered, it is understood that noise is present in it. The frequency of the original signal may be 1 kHz, but the noise of certain frequency which corrupts this signal is unknown. However, when the same signal is represented in the frequency domain, using a spectrum analyzer, it is plotted as shown in the following figure. Here, we can observe few harmonics, which represent the noise introduced into the original signal. Hence, the signal representation helps in analyzing the signals, right? Now that you know some of the principles of modulation, it's time to delve into amplitude modulation technique and see how it works. Thank you for watching and see you in the next course.